Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic for this training which is on SAP Web Dispatching. So basically how what is an SAP Dis Web Dispatcher and how do we use SAP Web Dispatcher? We'll be covering things like in the SAP landscape we have this Web Dispatcher fits in. We'll be covering about the installation process, we'll be covering about the administration of web dispatcher and uh, about the load balancing feature of the web dispatcher so these are the different things that we will cover in this particular section okay, so let's get started so here you can see the location where the SAP web dispatcher is normally placed so this is basically you are seeing you have a demilitarized zone so if you are familiar with the architecture of a uh, of a system, especially say for example, if you, your user is trying to come from an internet, it will pass through a zone called demilitarized zone. Normally, it is created just to hide our main systems or main servers like main SAP systems behind an, another layer of firewall. Okay, so that is the objective of demilitarized zone set there so that in case if someone tries to pass it will go to one additional layer of firewall okay so that is about the DMZ so now here you can see that this SAP web dispatcher it is in this particular uh, DMZ zone it is placed separately and it is showing how this particular dis web dispatcher is talking to US Adapt Adapt plus Java adapt system or only uh, adapt system so we have seen how it is talking so basically that is about the location and from the installation perspective actually we can use the SAP INST tool to install the web dispatcher and normally if you want to go and download it this is the file which is used so SAP WDisp.sar now the next thing is about the dispatcher request flow so whenever the SAP request comes to the SAP web dispatcher how the flow of the request happens so we will cover in this particular slide so basically what is happening here is that we just saw that the function of the disp web dispatcher ultimately to forward an HTTP request to a specific application server okay here in this particular slide, we will look into that how this function is performed. Okay, so when an HTTP request or an HTTPS request is assigned to a server, and it is assigned in two stages. First is the SAP Web Dispatcher determines whether the incoming HTTP request is for the ADAPT request or it is for a Java request. Okay, so the first step as we saw is the web dispatcher determines whether the incoming HTTP request is an ADAPT request. ADAPT that means it could be a DSP, it could be a WebGen Pro, okay, or it is a Java request. Java could be like a DSP, a servlet, or a WebGen Pro Java application. So once it has determined the type of the request, then it finds a group of server in the SAP system that can execute the request. Okay, then next thing is the load balancing then carried out within this group. After SAP Web Dispatcher had identified a server, it forwards the request to the ICM, the Java Dispatcher of the relevant application server. So in the case of the dual stack system, the SAP Web Dispatcher forwards Java request to the ICM process and not Java Dispatcher of the selected instance. Okay, so that is about the dispatcher with the flow. Okay, let's go to the next slide which is on which is showing basically how the flow is happening between say for example dispatcher requesting the request so URL based on the URL table it will be sent to the load, app load balancing or Java load balancing. So if 
the application state is stateful. Okay, so basically in this diagram, we are showing how the exact identification of server is happened. Okay, now let's look about the load balancing, how the load balancing is performed. Okay, for the load balancing, there, there are two ICF services which should be active. So this is the first one that is uh, SAP public IC man and second one is SAP public ICF underscore. So these two services has to be active for the uh, dispatcher to function to do the load balancing. So the SAP web dispatcher obtains information about the application servers of the adapt SAP system from the message server via HTTP or HTTPS. You can use the SAP web dispatcher in pure adapt system as well as combined adapt plus Java systems and pure Java systems. Okay. Okay, the next slide we are seeing that how the web dispatcher is communicating to the message server say in a pure adapt system. In this is a adapt plus Java system, how it is happening your message server and sending forwarding the request and at the bottom you can see that this is a AS Java system how it is contacting the respective message server. Okay, so basically this is used it uses two parameters. So one is the MS host or this plus MS host, second is MS class HTTP underscore to specify the assigned message server. Okay, now as we saw in the previous slide that how the SAP web dispatcher communicates if it is a pure ADAP system, if it is a ADAP plus Java system or if it is a pure Java system and which are the parameters it is used. Okay, an installation options perspective, this being a, a 7.0 or higher system, so we just focus on either we can use the provide a GP table and profile to run it, either we can we can run it using the bootstrap option or we can run it using SAP RST. So all three options are available for 7.0 onwards. Okay, to launch the web admin interface, basically this is the URL that is that is well HTTP colon slash slash seven in colon the web info port slash SAP slash admin. Okay, alright, that's what I wanted to cover in this particular section. Thanks for joining me in the next video. Bye.